guys welcome back to my channel if you are new hit that subscribe button turn on your post notification bell so you'll be notified whenever you girl post a video okay and today i'm serving you this cute shimmery purple look can't really think of a name of it right now but of course you know i went up under the eyes with the same colors i put it in the crease but you gonna I'm gonna tell you that later on, okay? <laughs> um, so I did a little swoop, swoop, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't all that good, but hey, well, it's whatever. Um, but I did use my um Nairobi foam to do this. This was late at night, y'all. This is about five o'clock in the four or five o'clock in the morning when I did this tutorial. I was up, so I was like, whatever. But um, yes. So this is the look that I'm gonna create in this video and without further ado let me stop talking and let's get right into it as you already know your girl come with a brows almost done you know I gotta blend that front part out later on as I do my makeup and I'm gonna go in with that um, Milani um, concealer that I got from Walmart I'm gonna blend it out and we're gonna set it with some revolution powder Okay, yes, I did switch up the concealer. I just want to test this concealer out because I already know that LA Girl Pro Concealer don't, you know, don't let me down. But, you know, your girl just had to <laughs> try another. Okay, so this palette here is very, very colorful, very, very pretty. Um, this is a Coastal Scents Creative Me 1 palette. And I'm telling y'all now, I had this palette for a long time, so that's why I look all busted and everything, okay? So, I'm getting a fluffy blending brush. Because, you know, we're going to start off with that crease. You feel me? <laughs> so, as you can see, these are some really, really cute, bright, colorful colors. And I was trying to debate on which one I really wanted to do. But I was like, um, let me just go into this color right here, okay? Because I ain't got all night. Well, I do, but I don't. And once I pick that color, I am going to put it all in my crease area, okay? Um, the best way to place this, I can tell you, is tilt your head back and try to place it where you want to place it. It's kind of easy to do that. So once I get that built up, I am going to go into that fuchsia looking color. And I'm going to go right up under that color that I first put, okay? We're going to put that in there, and we're going to build that up also. Okay? I'm going to tell you one thing. Coastal Scents um, eyeshadows are very good, very pigmented. I really, really, really like them. So, you know, of course, you got to do the same thing you did to one eye. You have to do it the other why would you not want to do it with the other okay you don't want to do just one eye and then have to go back and do the same thing to the other eye so why not just do both eyes at the same time because <laughs> you got some people that will just do one eye and that's it and then they go to the other one so um next we're going to go in with that purple shade and we're going to put it in our crease too and we're going to build that color up too then once i get that purple i'm going to really focus it on the outer part of my eye and then i'm gonna go in and i'm going to build that one up also and do the same thing with that eye Then once I get that purple build up to how I want it, I'm going to go in with that blue. And y'all, that blue is so pretty. I'm telling you, it is so pretty. I got to do a blue look with this blue. Like these blues that you see in this palette, honey. Okay, you, you finna see them next. <laughs> so once I get that, I'm going to put that in my crease. And I'm going to focus that also in the outer part. And I'm going to drag it into the inner part just like I did the purple and yeah that's how we're gonna do that little bit right there all right and once I have that blended out I am gonna go back in with those same two colors that I used the first time with a clean 
um, blending brush and we'll go, we'll go back into those colors because I did lose those colors once I placed that purple in it, that blue. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to add those colors that I missed. And if you have um, lost any other colors that you want to show up more, you can go back and place those also. Alrighty, and once I got that done, the next thing I'm going to go in is with the concealer brush that I used and the same concealer that I used also. And I'm going to put that in the middle and we're going to put the shimmery color in where I put the concealer at. Alrighty, and once we're done with that, I did not set that concealer also. I'm gonna go in with that shimmery color from my BH Cosmetics um, palette, and we're going to place that with our fingers and everywhere we put a concealer. Now, if you go over the little concealer, that's fine because we're really just gonna blend that out with that blue color that we put, and yeah. Alrighty, so once I got that how I kind of want it, I'm going to go back in with that blue with that same crease brush that we used to apply all those colors in. And we're going to blend those edges out on where I put that shimmery color at. And then once I feel like I got it to where I kind of want it, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my liner and I'm going to do my mascara. Alrighty, and then once I get done lining my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild mascara, mega length. Okay, got it from Walmart, and we're gonna coat these baby lashes. Okay, <laughs> like I always tell y'all, never had long lashes, so gotta coat those bad babies. Alright, and what I did was I got a makeup wipe and I wiped all the fallout out and then I'm getting one of my pair of lashes. These lashes are kind of not so dramatic, so you can kind of see my eye look a little bit more better. Because I feel like the other ones, they are pretty, but I feel like they kind of overpowered my eye look a little bit, so... We're going to try these bad babies out. Don't know the number of them. I had them for a while. They were just sitting there. So that's what I used. And I'm going to go back with the liner. The Ruby Kiss liner. Black liner. I got from the hair store. And we're going to line the top part. Okay. To help blend those lashes in a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other eye. Y'all, this palette that I'm holding is actually a, a good palette too. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go do my foundation and everything, and then I'm gonna come right back with the look. And there you have it, y'all. There is the look. You know, on my lips, I did use the Wet n Wild brown pencil, and I lined my lips also and then I used a matte lipstick it's like a new lipstick I can't exactly think of the number because it's been scratched off but 
I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> and then I put my butter gloss over it. You know, my fortune cookie says you already know. For my hair, I did use the Nairobi foam to do the little swoop swoop thing. You feel me? For this video, because I need to do this thing like that, okay? <laughs> and yes, this is the look, y'all. Y'all already know what kind of highlight I use for my Black Radiance Contour Palette. Y'all already know how that goes. And yes, so if you love this look, um, Please let me know. Leave a thumbs up. And yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay, y'all? Alright. So, see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>